Hello, this is Rick. I'm back. I don't know how well you can see that. I've got artificial light going on. It's after sunset, starting to get dark. But I just wanted you to be able to look if you could. There's a bead in that one. And there's the bead in that one. I'll be weighing them both here after a bit when they cool down. I didn't bother to film myself taking them out of the furnace. Wasn't all that much to see anyway. I just reached in with my tongs, picked them up, brought them over here, put them on this. When I was ready to end the fire, I just turned the furnace off, then went and grabbed my tool, lifted the lid off, set it off to the side. And that way they could fast cool. Faster you cool them, the more of a fire polish they keep on the surface and the nicer they look. You let them cool slow, they kind of look a little bit frosted. I wanted them to be nice and shiny. And anyway, that's where we're at. I'm just waiting for them to cool right now. Ain't gonna touch them at the immediate moment. Burn freaking big old white scarred spots on your fingers if you try to touch them. Uh, it's getting kind of cool. You can actually see the bead in there to some extent. As well as in that one. But there you have it. I haven't weighed it yet, but when you're here pretty quick, I'm going to be ready to take them in there, put them on my scale, and make sure they're the exact same weight. But there you have it. You got to follow me through the process of stripping the scrap off of some fingers in my AP tank. And then got to watch me pretty much go through the fire assay procedure on it and split it down into two nice pretty bright beads one for myself one for my client and as far as that goes anyone else who wants to send me some scrap to help fund my hobby and as far as refining goes I'll split whatever I recover with you 50-50 just the same as I did with this person here anyway it's been a pleasure it's been fun and thanks for watching